Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is the Theatre Library. My name is Amy and today I'm coming at you with a little book theme video. Just a little one. Um, I went out earlier today to do some shopping. I needed to get a present for my mum because it's her birthday this week and I may have accidentally ended up buying some Christmas presents for people but also some books which is naughty and I shouldn't have done it because it's my birthday in just under two weeks as well and um, I need to be put on a strict buy and ban around birthday and Christmas because I will just buy things and people will be like stop <laughs> my mum will hate it I bought some puzzles the other day and I was like I'm gonna have to give them to her and say you can just pay me back and have them as presents for my birthday because cannot be stopped now that I have a job have like a steady income of money can't stop me from buying things <laughs> I was meant to be on a book buying ban in general until I'd you know read some more of the books that are on my shelf because <laughs> there's like over 50 books that I haven't read that I own um, and I definitely need to read those before I can justify buying a hell of a lot more. But I have an addiction. And it's not great, is it? But it's fun. And these books were all from the works. Um, which if you're not from the UK or if you don't know what the works is. Um, the works is a book and sort of like stationary little arty shop. Um, it's good, actually, coming from an art student, if you want cheap art supplies, <laughs> you can get like acrylic paints for £4 and they work just as well as the more expensive ones. Um, some great little pads of paper. It's good. It's good for all your needs. But I like the books and more recently they've had some really good books in. Like I'm talking, they've had Heartstopper. They had it in when I went today, um, but I didn't buy it, and I don't own it. To be honest, I don't want to read it. It's not my type of book, but I know a lot of people love it, so that's the level we're at. The works are here. Good books, cheaper than Waterstones, although have a bit of a loyalty to Waterstones, but Waterstones are having, I'm aware, a bit of like a stock issue at the minute something to do with changing warehouses i don't fully know what's going on there all i know is that the local waterstones to me looked and still looks when i went in there today vastly quite empty compared to what it usually is and it's quite sad had it not been like that i probably would have bought all these books full price in waterstones and spent a lot more money but i didn't i didn't um I should probably stop rambling and get on with showing you the books since I've now been filming for what nearly four minutes and I've not even shown you a book yet so this is a little bag that has all the books in um actually a theatre theme bag uh Heather's which is one of my favourite shows this was actually gifted to me by my cousin for Christmas last year because she knows how much I love the original cast of Heathers and um, I find it very hard to find merch and things on websites like Etsy they're all of like more recent casts and whilst I have seen more recent casts and I do love some of the people in the more recent casts um, I have a very strong affinity to carry out Fletcher big fan I just got lipstick on my bag don't know when that happened but it's the same color as the one i've got on today so i probably just did it so <laughs> finally getting on with the books um the first book i bought i'll get it over the way with was a puzzle book um i always go in the works for my puzzle books um particularly like crisscross puzzles you just fill in the words this is not a reading book this is just I thought I'd just put this in because I did buy it 
and if any of you like a puzzle book and are interested, um, the works do a good selection of them for cheap. And I always go there whenever I want a new one. And I felt like I was outdue because I haven't bought a puzzle book in a while. Not that interesting. So I'm going to move on. Moving on to the next ones. Um, I bought these two books. Um, good Girl, Bad Blood and A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, both by Holly Jackson. Um, I actually bought these books more out of a necessity rather than just picking them up on the shelf and reading the blurbs and going, that'll do because um, I can't remember whether it was last year or the year before. Um, one of the many books that's currently sitting on my bookshelf unread is um, the third book in the series, which is As Good As Dead. If you're wondering what I was looking at, it's on the back. Um, I picked it up in Asda um, and my sister was like, oh, I'll buy you that. You can have that for your birthday. I think it was birthday last year. And I didn't realise that it was the third book in a series. So it sat there for ages. If you're wondering why I'm looking that way, it's because my bookshelf is that way. Um, and I've been meaning for a while to get them, the first two, so I can actually read these two and then read the third one. Um, so yeah, these were a necessity purchase. At least that's what I'm telling myself. Because I can't read a third book in a series without reading the first two. I feel like a lot would not make sense if I did that. I'd be like, oh, what the hell is going on? <laughs> the next book I bought was this, Walking on Sunshine by Giovanna Fletcher. Um, I only have one of her other books, I believe, um, which is called Billy and Me. And I quite enjoyed that. And I know she has a lot of books and I don't own any of her other ones. So I thought I'd go for this one. It was £5. Um, and it just sounded nice. I wonder if I should maybe be reading the blurbs to you, but um, I can't be bothered, <laughs> quite frankly. So, it just seemed like a nice, a nice little book. Um, uplifting, according to quotes on the back. So I thought, that's just a nice little one. I don't want something too heavy, nothing crime related, nothing too serious I thought that is just a nice little book and it looks really pretty I actually quite like this this cover I like the way it looks quite like sort of like hear me out like a paper collage like a layered paper collage I don't know if anyone agrees with me but I just thought that was really nice and now that I'm looking at this I'm having second thoughts I'm like do I own this book I don't think I do if I've bought this book and I already own it, then I may just have to um, give this one to a charity shop or to a friend. Um, I don't think I do. <laughs> I'll have to check. Um, but I have a lot of books on my shelf, so... Yeah, I don't think I do. You're just watching me have, like, a mental debate now of whether I own this book already or not. Oh well, if I have two copies, I have two copies. Um, and I'll gift one to a friend. Now, the next books I bought were all on a deal together. So I originally first picked up this book, which is um, Until I Met You by Amber Rose Gill. Um, I love Amber. I love her Instagram. I think she's great. I think she was great on Love Island. Um, I saw she was writing this book and I thought, I need to get that. Um, and then I saw it today in the works and was like, I'm going to get that. And then of course, because it's on a three for six pound deal, even though I could have just bought the one for two pound fifty, of course, of course, when you see a book on a deal like that, you've got to buy two, even if you're not in the market for anything else, you've got to look and buy two more because that only makes sense. I will have to say the three for six pound deal and the two for eight pound deal in Asda are my favourite book deals. So if I ever want a book and I'm like, I want a book but I want it cheaper, the works for this deal or Asda 
that deal, they're my two places to go. Although Asda's a bit more hit and miss because it's a supermarket and they don't get a lot of books in. However, my local Asda have a great selection every time I've been in, so it's great. And my and Asda do some hardbacks for cheaper, so what's not to love? Um, the other two books I got in the deal are both by Philippa Ashley. I bought a Philippa Ashley book last year for Christmas um because it was december and i was in the mood to read some christmas books so i bought a few um i read that one i loved it it was it wasn't like a five star read but it was cute and it was christmassy and it was everything that i wanted like good just dose of like warm christmas wintry love feeling um but i enjoyed the writing in it so i thought i'd go for two more of her books um first one is this one a perfect cornish escape um coincidentally both these books take place in cornwall and now that i'm looking on the back i'm starting to think um she might have a lot of books themed in cornwall which is great by me because i love cornwall <laughs> i don't live there i wish i did um lovely little summery place i love going to a caravan park in in, in cornwall M my mind then was going to go i love to go to a caravan park in caravan i mean i'm sure there's probably a place called caravan somewhere in the world but <laughs> that didn't make sense so cornwall is what i was meant to say um will make you laugh and cry I was going to say I've never had a book that's actually made me cry, and that is a lie. <laughs> Might make a video just about that book. I'm not going to tell you which book it is now, because uh, that would ruin the suspense. But there is one particular book, and it's the only book to ever make me cry. And then I just have to take deep breaths whenever I even think about it, because I'm just like... Deep breaths. I have quite a funny story to that book so not this one the other one um but yeah just a little summary love story that takes place in cornwall what's not to love and the other one also in cornwall is an endless cornish summer can you tell i love cornwall favorite holiday place i'm not much of a traveler I don't like to leave the country a lot. I've been to a few different countries, but traveling is not my vibe. I much prefer to stay in, in the UK. Um, and Cornwall, actually, Edinburgh is another one. Um, just beautiful places. Good for lovely little getaways. Um, That was a little random holiday tangent, wasn't it? If you're watching this and you're like, what the fuck are you on about? I don't know either, because this is a ramble. And uh, with that being said, the bag is now empty. Apart from a receipt. So, that's it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel, comment below if you have any of these books, if you've read any of these books, what you thought of them, if you want to read any of these books, um, if you'd like to see my thoughts on these books when I eventually get around to reading them. Probably not going to be for a while knowing me because I have a lot of books and I tend to just randomly pick them as I want. I'm not one of these people that likes to to pre-plan what book I'm going to read next because I'm very spontaneous. Whether I'm in a true crime mood, whether I'm in a murder mystery mood, whether I'm in a romance mood. I don't tend to read a lot of non-fiction books. Um, I think I own very sparingly a couple. 
Um, and they're all related to true crime because who doesn't love a murder? <laughs> that was weird. Um, what I meant was who doesn't love like a good true crime murder mystery? Oh, who done it? Who done it? I'm gonna go now. I will see you in my next video, which I have no idea what it's gonna be or when it's gonna come out. Hopefully. I can get regular uploads on here and it won't be too bad but until then don't forget to like subscribe comment what you want to see comment if you'd like to see reviews of those books when I eventually read them let me know your thoughts if you've read those books um did I make a mistake are they crap um or whether you'd like to read them yourself whether they were enjoyable I feel like that didn't make sense and didn't come out right. So I'm gonna go.